morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my IDC 100 class. So if you're ready here, please stay present. While waiting for the others, let's have a uh, music. Time's late under the moon, then I thank God I read it. And I pray, don't take me soon, cause I am here for a reason. Sometimes in my tears I drown, but I never let it get me down. No one negativity is around I know someday it'll all turn around Because all my life I've been waiting for I've been crying for For the people to say That we don't want to fight no more There'll be no more war And our children will play One day, one day Morning, sir. Yes, good morning. Salamat. So so kindly contact ano Salamat um Dangay, Cervantes, and Buena Ventura. Good morning, sir. Um, it's an I did Andre. It is it in Andre Gan Andre. Ah, so it's a Ventura. Okay. Attendance mo lagi ka sa channel Benaventura. So once na nag mo diri sa Lark Live, pwede na mo din ipag-attendance sa channel. So I hope everyone eat their, ano no? Their breakfast. So, bawal ang gutom dito sa ating klase. So, I hope everyone nakakain na. James and Dean, wala mo nag-change sa inyong profile pic sa Lark. Uh, this mean na, uh, I think, wala pa mo ka-install sa Lark, no? Dean and James? Wala pa, sir. So, 
Okay. And to those who are Okay, and to those who are watching this Stone Lark, no? Kasi every week ko ko magpa-remind ani out sa naman. So, it's still time ng lang kasi may uh, October with me seriously using the Lark na dun. No? Okay, kasi may, uh, we have settings sa Lark na di natin magagamit pag hindi natin siya in-install or features kumbaga and by the way um, I know you have your JC right uh, andyan ba si Rico and Romeo Rico Yanni Lu o ay si Yanni Lu Rico then Gary B. Romeo Kasi uh, sila na lang talaga ang dalawa yung hindi ano uh, Ang tatlo pala sila no Including Hanania, Egina, Egina Baka di nila alam no Napasok sila sa IT Is paki ano ko daw papang jan jan sa JC niyo ba? So they are not attending the class yet. May pumasok. Uh, so this afternoon, it so happened that the classes will be uh, suspended starting 3.30. But we have scheduled 3, right? So, um... Uh, I was... Uh, I did not post it in the... Ano, sa, uh, sa community kasi uh, though mag-meet niya punta pero lahat tayo papasok sa LARP no? hindi na dito sa channel mag-present kasi may ano lang ako uh, something uh, discuss na bagong rules no? yeah, this regards to the requirements no? kato yung isang major requirements ninyo so, ako siyang i-clarify kasi it's not reporting pala no I thought it, uh, it will be uh, you'll be yeah somehow kam- kayo da- daw mag-report pero iba pala yun so it will explain this afternoon no I'll just give the invitation kanino ko ba ibigay invitation uh, sa'yo na lang ano James James are you there yes sir Oh, di ba naman mo yung GC? Oh, so, okay, so isend na ko ang kuan, ang invitation mamaya sa imong email then pakisend sa inyong GC. No? So, okay, pasok so tayo. Sir. Madali na naman, 30 minutes, no? Then after that, wala na. Uh, kailangan na siya na mag-update lahat kasi uh, it is important. Uh, it, this is related to your, ano, um, uh, to your major requirements. If you can recall your, ano, the orientation. So, actually, it was posted naman sa canvas, no? And, if you really are uh, updating your canvas, uh, what was the latest post there? Ah, anyone? Even sa nag tumitingin ngayon sa live. Ano yung uh, update updates sa canvas? Dati na ka-reply, labi na na diri sa ako sa live. Ikutom pa mo. 
Ayun. So, thank you, Bernadette. Yes, isa yun, Bernadette, no? Yung sa drawing ay already posted, no? Yes, keyboard drawing and labeling. Okay? So, explain ko din yun uh, this afternoon farther, no? Meron pa, meron pa akong isang post. Uh, check news announcement, no? The extent. <laughs> Extend job po na wala pa ko. Bakura kayo na utok niya. Extend and deadline. Maybe put extend and deadline to where po. <laughs> Doon sa announcement. May announcement ako. Hala, you forgot already na the pattern natin. No? Uploaded learning material, sir. Yun. So, uploaded na yung uh, chapter 2, the system unit processing and memory, as well as the chapter 3, the storage. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, Cuervo. Yes, kabuka, that's it. So we are waiting na lang with um uh, uh sinyo kulang. Si Dangay. Can you contact Dangay? Dan na si Dangay kailangan niya dito sa live. Or else I'll mark uh sino si Dangay. Oh, I'll mark uh, I'll mark her absent and deduction with the earn unit uh, earn unit. Earn points. So, yung ano pala, extra points nyo, oh. Hindi yung siya, ano ha, pwede din yun matanggal, no? Kasi nga, um, yeah. Explain ko this afternoon na din. So, ang liit pa ninyo, 23 pa lang kayo out of 40. So, 2 minutes left before the, ano, closing of attendance. Ah, uh, and yung nandito sa live, please um can you uh, turn on your camera kasi we'll have a screenshot na po for recording. A picture tap please. Turn on your camera. So I'll be using the cam uh, my phone.
Yan, Janas Dangay. Thank you, Dangay, for coming. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So, let's turn on our camera, please, for documentation. Yan. Yes, Dangay. Um, James, turn on your camera, please. Sige na, para mag-start ka tayo. Si James, James, ikaw na lang kulang. Wala ka dyan si James, eh. James, wala kay camera. Okay, sige, tingin tayo, uh, Jeveline. Tingin ka sa camera, ha? Sige, in 3, 2, 1, smile. Ay, wait, na-off na po ang po. Ulit-ulit, ha? <laughs> Nawala tuloy. Okay, ready? In 3, 2, 1, smile. Bakit? Ayaw mag-speech up. Ayun. Okay, thank you, thank you. You can turn off na para hindi din magasto sa ato. Ito. Ah, uh, Maraya, ang pasabot ng sa community is, di ba katong, ang diri ba sa channel ng community, di to ako nag-post, no? Ay, oh, suspension of classes karong 3.30 until, including panggabiin na klase, suspended. Kaya in, in celebration na siya sa Family Week. Mawag po siya. Pero magkita kaya punta alas 3 sa hapon kaya na ako uh, announcement. So, So again, good morning. So um, so I hope you are week. Uh, you celebrate your weekends uh, in good condition, no? So we are all safe. So now, uh, this morning, uh, we'll be discussing. Uh, moving na tayo sa ating chapter discussion, which is uh, if atun chapter t- three, uh, we discuss about the um software. So this time we'll talk about uh, uh chapter four, the input and output. So uh this morning we'll have a pre-recording video. If before we have Miss uh Lani Loriano, so today we have Miss Cindy Lasco. So I hope uh you you will listen and I still I know uh same. With the previous day, prepare your pen and paper because there might be a quiz or a surprise. So everyone, please listen. And if you have questions uh, after the video, it will be entertained. Okay? But for now, let's uh, listen muna. So I'll gonna share my screen. to discuss another topic 
for our midterm coverage, the input and output. So in this topic, here are the following learning objectives. We have to explain the purpose of computer keyboard and the types of computer keyboards widely used today, listing of several different pointing devices and describe their functions, describe the purposes of scanners and readers and list some types of scanners and readers in use today, as well as explain what digital cameras are and how they are used today. We're also going to understand the devices that can be used for audio input. Describe the characteristics of a display device and explain some of the technologies used to display images. List several types of printers and explain their functions. And identify the hardware devices typically used for audio output. So in this chapter, we are going to focus on the hardware designed for inputting data into the computer as well as for the outputting results to the user after the data has been processed. First, we are going to discuss the most common input devices used with computers and mobile devices today like keyboards, pointing devices, and touch devices. Also, we are going to discuss uh, the hardware designed for capturing data in electronic form such as scanners, barcode readers, and digital cameras, and followed by the overview of audio input as well as the voice input increasingly being used with mobile devices. Also, on the second part of this lecture video, we're going to discuss the output devices. Most output today occurs on screen, so we're going to discuss the different types of display devices and how they work. Also, some outputs are on paper. So we're going to discuss the basic properties and types of printers and how they work, as well as audio output devices. So due to the vast number of different types of input and output devices that can be used for various needs, this topic will focus on the most common types of input and output devices that is used today. Most computers today are designed to be used with a keyboard. So a keyboard is an input device used to enter characters at a location marked by the insertion point or the cursor. So keyboards can be built into a device attached by inserting the keyboard's wired cable or wireless receiver into a USB port or connected by a wireless network connection like Bluetooth. So like most keyboards, this keyboard contains standard alphanumeric keys to input text and numbers as well as additional keys used for various purposes. For instance, this keyboard contains a numeric keypad for entering numbers, function keys for issuing commands in some programs, delete and backspace keys for deleting characters, Control and alternate keys for issuing commands in conjunction with keys on the keyboard, such as Control S to save the current document in some programs, and arrow keys for moving around within a document. So, some keyboards also contain special keys that are used for specific purposes, such as to control the speaker volume or DVD playback, or to launch an email program or favorite website. So, to allow individuals to work under a variety of lighting conditions such as in a dark living room or in an airplane, keyboards today are increasingly using illuminated keys to light up the characters on the keyboard. So many computer keyboards today include touchpads, scroll wheels, and other components for easier control over some functions such as gesture input or scrolling through documents. Some keyboards also include a fingerprint reader or other biometric reader that can be used for identification purposes and others are made for languages other than English. So some keyboards also are designed for special purposes such as to allow easy input for special systems like kanamagina gamit sa library or when you input music into a computer sa so naginatawag na MIDI keyboard used for piano compositions and to be regular then is silly sterilized such as keyboards used in hospitals. So aside from that, na po yung mga notebook and netbook computers na they have keyboards similar to a desktop keyboard pero mas gamay lang siya. And 
contains fewer keys. So, wala siya yung numeric keypad. So, aside from that, there are also keys that are typically placed somewhat closer. So, yun nga ang sa mga notebook and netbook computers. So, a uh, notebook, netbook, and tablet computers users can also connect and use a conventional keyboard that makes inputting data easier if their computer contains an appropriate port like USB port or Bluetooth capabilities. So here is an example of a keyboard. So this part here is the funk, uh, alphanumeric keypad for keys. So this one is the function keys. So one itong backspace, uh, insert key, delete key. So this is our uh, numeric keypad. This is our space bar. Then we have the windows keys, control and alt, duha. Okay, and so on and so forth. So this is a typical keyboard. So because of the increasing amount of data entered into mobile devices today, most mobile devices have either uh, slide out keyboards in any way that can be revealed when needed and hidden when not in use or better put on screen keyboards that can be used with touch or pen input. So if a uh, Mobile devices not have a built-in keyboard, so pwede siya nga na ay a portable keyboard or a keyboard dock or a keyboard folio para mas dali ang data entry. So, in addition to keyboard, most computers today are used in conjunction with some type of pointing device. So, pointing devices are used to select and manipulate objects as well as input certain types of data such as handwritten data and to issue commands to the computer. So the most common pointing devices are the mouse, the pen stylus, and the devices that use touch input. The mouse is the most common pointing device for a desktop computer. It typically rests on the desk or other flat surface close to the user's computer and it is moved across the surface with the user's hand in the appropriate direction to point to and select objects in the screen. As it moves, an on-screen mouse pointer, usually an arrow, moves accordingly. So once the mouse pointer is pointing to the desired object in the screen, the buttons in the mouse are used to perform actions and that object such as either open a hyperlink to select text or to resize an image. So similar to keyboards, Mice today typically connect by USB port or via a wireless connection. So the older mechanical mice have a ball exposed in the bottom. So makita na ninyo, karo na makita ninyo are light, right? Like this one. So light nang siya. Pero in older mechanical mice, marasyag na ay bola. So that ball is used to control to the pointer movement. So most mice today are optical mice or laser mice that track movements with light or uh, typically LED or laser light. So there are also mice that support two-dimensional gestures such as touch mice designed for Windows 8 devices instead of buttons. These mice include a touch surface on top of the mouse in order to support finger swipes and other movements for uh, convenient navigation. So aside from that, uh, in addition to being used with desktop computers, mice can also be used with portable computers like mga notebook net, and netbook computers as long as there is an appropriate port like USB port available or the mouse can connect via Bluetooth. So there are also special cordless presenter mice that can be used by presenters to control on-screen slideshows. And natong murasyag, gamay lang siya nga muna yung click-click once nga mag-present. Mice are used to start programs, open, move on, around, as well as edit documents, draw or edit images, and more. So some of the most common mouse operations are uh, pointing, clicking, right-click, double-click, then drag and drop. We also have, um, pwede tamag scroll the wheel button or do the swiping and tapping. So one ng mga common yung gina gamit nato with the mouse. Or the mice. Uh, many devices today, including computers and media tablets and smartphones, can accept pen input. 
or that is input by writing, drawing, or tapping on the screen with the pen-like device called stylus. So stylus are simply a plastic device with a smooth rounded tip so they don't scratch the screen. It also contains buttons or switches to perform actions such as erasing content or right clicking. So other term na ginatawag sa stylus are digital pen, electronic pen, or tablet pen. So ang idea behind in pen input and digital writing in general is to make use of a computer or other device as convenient as writing with a pen while adding the functionality that pen input can provide such as kanang i-convert niyang handwritten pen input to editable type text. So, pen input is being used increasingly for photography, graphic design, animation, industrial doc design, document processing, and healthcare application. Ginagamit po ang digital pens to navigate to a document and as well as issuing commands to the computer. So, pens can also be used to provide easier touch input for mobile device users who have long fingernails or nagagamit or nagasuot of gloves or who have device with a skin that is too small to have accurate touch input by a finger. So, although their capabilities depend on the type of device and software being used, Pen input can be used with a variety of computers and mobile devices. So most often, pens are used with mobile devices and tablet computers to both input handwritten text and sketches and as well as in manipulating objects such as kung mag-select option from a menu or selecting text or resizing an image. So the depending gap on the software na ginagamit, handwritten input, can issue commands to the computer or be stored as an image or be stored as handwritten characters that can be recognized by the computer or be converted to editable type text. So with handwritten recognition, the computer interprets your data handwritten with a digital pen as individual characters. So for instance, handwritten notes can be converted by the computer to type notes and Ang data written on a digital form can be handwritten on the screen using a stylus and then convert na po siya into type text. So, the use of handwriting recognition technology in conjunction with digital form saves time, reduces paper waste, and increases data accuracy. So, aside from that, digital writing systems or pen-based systems nga nag-capture uh, o handwritten input as it is being handwritten or written. So, some digital writing systems are uh, nagagamit o mga handwriting apps that allows you to create handwritten documents that can be stored on the device or in a cloud account. So, for this type of mga devices, ang ginagamit are special paper nga na yung mga grid of dots. So, once nga imuna siyang gamitin or uh, the ang imong gina input ito uh, can be transferred to the computer. So aside from digital writing systems, we also have graphics tablet. So graphics tablet or also called as pen tablet or digitizing tablet is a flat touch sensitive tablet used in conjunction with a digital pen. So the graphics tablet is typically connected to a computer via a USB port or a wireless connection. So anything that can be drawn or written on the graphics tablet is automatically transfer siya to the connected computer. So the graphics tablet can also be used to issue commands to the computer. So usually mga nagagamit o graphics tablet are kana mga graphic artists, mga photographers, and other graphic professionals who often use graphic tablets in conjunction with image editing software that helps them in creating mga original images or in modifying digital photographs. So, another type of uh, mga pen-based input device is the signature capture device. So, these devices are found most often at checkout counters. Kay, ginagamit mo na siya kung untahay ka ng uh, mag-checkout bitaw ka o orders, kinanglan o signature, or di kaya ka ng mag-authorize ka o credit card purchase. So, kinanglan man na o uh, authorizing signature. So, gamitan ni mo atong signature capture device to record your signature. So, aside from mga uh, 
uh, checkout counters, ginagamit po na siya sa mga delivery companies, mga restaurants, or retail stores, and other service businesses na mo-capture o signature. So, actually, pag may nagtag signature capture device, gagmay lang na siya, marag ingani lang na. So, it is a mobile device with a stylus and appropriate software na monay mo records sa imuhang signature. So, aside from those mentioned, we also have touch screen. So, touch screens allow the user to touch the screen with his or her finger to select commands or otherwise mag-provide input to the computer associated with a touch screen. So, touch screens are common on portable computers, smartphones, and other devices in order to provide easy input. So, mojo na siya iyang main reason that is to provide easy input. So, many touch screens today are multi-touch na pasabot. They can able to recognize input from more than one finger at a time. So, like, di ba naman tayo mga functionality sa itong touch screen nga. Kana ba itong amagamit tag two fingers to enlarge or rotate an image on the screen. So, manay multi-touch. So, uh, aside from that na at Aside sa itong mobile device, there are other multi-touch products nga nagagamit o multi-touch nga functionality ka mga large wall displays nga makita na sa mga museum or ka mga government command centers and newsrooms. So, one new trend in touch screen is ang ginatawag na itong large screen computer or other term is table PC. So, it is either built into a table or designed to be used on a table. It allows multi-touch input from multiple users and it is also used by several individuals at once like uh, play games together or work together on a project or in participating in an interactive museum display. So, Ginagamit po usually ang touch screen sa mga consumer kiosks. Kanabit ang murag na ko kayo ng TV ng makita na to sa mga malls, uh, restaurant order systems, and other point of sale systems. So, they are actually also useful on on-the-job applications where it might be impractical to use a keyboard or a mouse. So, mo din yung mga examples sa mga uh, devices nga na touch screen functionality like kanin desktop computer na naman desktop ka ron, touch screen, notebook computers, mga mobile devices like our smartphones and tablets and this is an example of the table PC. So, a few other common pointing devices are joysticks, gamepads, steering wheels and proprietary controllers such as kanang mga Wii Remote, Xbox Connect, and PlayStation Move kana siya mga ginagamit siya for gaming. We also have trackballs um, nga ni Deng Dagwa sa trackballs. So, it is an alternative to a mouse that some individuals find easier to use. Na po mga special control buttons and wheels to select items and issue commands to the device such as uh, kanang portable digital media player and we also have the touchpad. Touchpad. A touchpad, a rectangular pad across which a fingertip or a thumb slides to move the on-screen pointer. So, you can tap the touchpad or um, other kwan para baka perform ka o click and other mouse actions that you usually use in notebook and netbook computers. So, there are a variety of input devices designed to capture data in digital form so a computer can manipulate it. So, some devices such as kind of mga scanners and readers that converts data that already exists in physical form like kind of mga source documents like photographs, checks, or product tables. Other devices such as digital cameras that capture data initially in digital form. So, automating the data entry process is referred to as a source data automation. So, it can refer to capturing data electronically from a source document and then entering that data directly into a computer at a time and place the data is generated. So, source data automation is widely used today because it can save uh, a great deal of time and is much more accurate than recording the data on paper and then later entering it into a computer via a keyboard. So, it is also allows the people who know the most about the events that the data represents to be the ones who input the data, which helps in 
increasing accuracy during the data entry process. Aside from that, um, uh, example would be um, an insurance adjuster or auto mechanic entering data directly into computer about the condition of a car involved in an accident. So will, it will likely have fewer input errors than I record niya ang data on paper and then ipa input lang niya or sa yung assistant ang katung na collect niya ang data later so mas accurate kung gamitan na lang siya o a source data automation. Um, many devices used in source data automation are scanning or reading devices. It is a device that scan or read printed text, codes, or graphics, and then in translate ang results niya into digital form. They are more officially called an optical scanner, captures that image of an object in digital form, and then it transfer na niya to the computer. So typically, the entire document, including both text and images, input as a single image that can be resized, inserted into other documents, or it can be posted on the web, emailed to someone, pwede po siya print or otherwise treated like any other graphical image. So the text in the scanned image, however, hindi siya ma-edit unless gamitan ni mo optical character recognition software that is used in conjunction with a scanner to input the scan text as individual text scanners. So there are several types of scanners. We have the flatbed, portable, PD, receipt, and business card scanners. So this is what a flatbed scanner looks like. So uh, flatbed scanners are designed to scan flat objects one page at a time. So they are the most common type of scanner. So ginagamit na siya like the same way you use a photocopier machine. So, whatever is being scanned remains stationary while the scanning me mechanism moves underneath it to capture that image. Napote mga portable scanner. So, th these are designed to capture text and other data while on the go. So, some are full page portable scanners that can capture images of an entire document. Others put are handheld scanner designed to capture text one line at a time. So, on siya. In either case, the scanner is typically powered by batteries. The scanned content is stored in the scanner and then the content can be transferred to a computer when needed. So some handheld scanners have OCR capabilities and some of them can also be used to translate scanned text from one language to another. Multimedia, medical, and some business application may also require the use of a 3D or a three-dimensional scanner, or 3D, which can scan an item or person in 3D. So, task-specific scanners, such as kind of mga receipt scanners and business card scanners, are also available. So, in addition, scanning hardware is being incorporated into a growing number of products, like kind of mga ATM machines, ginascan naman ng, 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 ng black parts sa likod niya. So, ginascan to siya. Napuyuban nga, Nag-scan of images of checks deposited into the machine. Then, typically, gina-check ang images, then printed it on the deposit receipt and can be viewed online via online banking services. So, the quality of scanned images is indicated by optical resolution. So, it is usually measured in the number of dots per inch or DPI. So, when a document is scanned, the resolution of the scanned image can often be specified, so the resolution can also be reduced if needed. We can do that using an image editing program. So scanners today usually scan at between 2,400 by 2,400 dpi or 4,800 to 9,600 dpi. So the higher the resolution, the better the image, pero po kayo ang file size. There are also a variety of readers available to read the different types of codes and marks used today. So, uh, they also used to read individual biometric characteristics. So, some of the most common types of readers are, one is barcode readers. So, barcode readers are used for barcodes. So, a barcode is an optical code that represents data with bars of varying widths or heights. So, uh, two of the most familiar barcodes are UPC or Universal Product Code. 
So, it is a type of barcode that is found on packaged goods in supermarket and other retail stores. Napunta yung mga ISBN or International Standard Book Numbers. So, ginagamit na siya sa mga books, printed books. We also have data bar. So, it is actually used for um, mga small consumer goods like ano, mga fresh foods and jewelry. And we also have the QR codes or... Um, other term is quick response code. So, it represents data with a matrix of small squares designed to be used by consumers with smartphones. So, ngunit siya ang mga examples sa barcode read, barcodes kani. So, barcode readers use either light reflected from the barcode or imaging technology to interpret the bars contained in the barcode as the numbers or letters they represent. So, then, ang data nga associated with that barcode, ma-retrieve niya. So, aside from barcode readers, we also have radio frequency identification readers. So, it, pag may nguntag RFID, is a technology that can store, read, and transmit data located in RFID tags. So, um, RFID tags contain tiny chips and radio antennas that, that can be attached to objects such as products, price tags, shipping labels, ID cards, or assets like ano, mga livestock, vehicles, uh, computers, and other expensive items and more. So, the data in that RFID tag is read by the RFID reader. So, whenever an RFID tagged item is within reach of an RFID reader, um, the tag's built-in antenna allows information located within the RFID tag to be sent to the reader. So, usually, uh, ang range niya is from 2 inches up to 300 feet or more. So, ginagamit usually ang RFID sa tracking of inventory, and assets, electronic toll collection, tracking patients in hospitals, ticketing applications, and speeding up of ID process at, of travelers at border crossings. So, there are a variety of RFID readers, including mga handheld portal and stationary RFIDs that are available to fit the various RFID applications in use today. Yung mga handheld RFID readers are used by workers to read RFID tags on the go or to read RFID-enabled tickets at the venue entrance. So, portal RFID readers are also used to read all the RFID tags and all the products located inside the sealed shipping boxes on the pallet at one time when the pallet passes through the portal. So, apoy yung mga stationary na mga RFID readers nga ginagamit for check stands, border crossings, and other locations where RFID tags need to be read on a continual basis. So, aside from RFIDs, we also have optical mark readers. So, uh, it is a reader that inputs data from special forms to score or tally exams, um, questionnaires, ballots, and so forth. So, typically, they use a pencil circles or other shapes on the form to indicate your selections and then the form is inserted into an optical mark reader to be scored or tallied. So usually yung kanang, uh, kanaganing sa inigmag-voting inig so, di ba, lapis raman na siya or ball pen then, kato siya, ma-recognize tong katong marking ni mo, so muna iyang i-count. So the results can be input into a computer system if the optical mark reader is connected to a computer. So we also have optical character recognition. So when you talk OCR or optical character recognition, it refers to the ability of a computer to recognize text characters printed on a document. So the characters are read by a compatible scanning device such as kind of a flatbed scanner, barcode reader, or dedicated OCR reader. And then, ang OCR software will be used to identify each character and convert it into editable text. So, while OCR systems can be recognizing many different types of printed characters, optical characters which are characters specifically designed to be identifiable by humans as well as by an OCR device or often used on documents intended to be processed by an optical 
character recognition system. So, like, say, for example, um, optical characters are widely used in processing turnaround documents like uh, mga monthly bills for credit card and utility companies. So, uh, these documents contain optical characters in certain places on the bill to aid processing when consumers send it back with payment or turn it around. Napunta yung mga ginatawag na mga magnetic ink character recognition devices so, or readers. So, it is, pag may, MICR is a technology used in primarily by the banking industry to facilitate check processing. Or, okay, so, MICR characters are inscribed on checks with magnetic ink when the checks are first printed. So, napunta yung mga biometric readers. So, pag mayroon biometrics is is actually the science of identifying individuals based on measurable biological characteristics. So, biometric readers are used to read biometric data about a person so that the individual's identity can be verified based on a particular unique psychological characteristic like iyahang fingerprint or iyahang face or pwede po iyahang tingog or iyahang signature. So, biometric Readers can be standalone or built into a computer or mobile device and is usually used to allow only authorized users access to a computer facility or to that data stored on a storage device as well as to authorize electronic payments, logging onto secure websites or punch in and out of work. So we also have digital cameras. So digital cameras work much like conventional film cameras, but instead of recording images on film, they record them on digital storage medium such as flash memory card, built-in hard drive, or DVD disc. So digital cameras are usually designed or designated either as still cameras or video cameras. So, although many cameras today take both still images and video, so in addition to standalone still and video cameras, digital camera capabilities are integrated into many portable computers and mobile devices. So, digital still cameras are available in a wide variety of sizes and capabilities, so such as inexpensive point and shoot digital cameras designed for consumers professional digital cameras and digital cameras integrated into mobile phones and other mobile devices. So, ang primary appeal to the earning digital still cameras are images are immediately available. So, makita nandiyan nato siya or maprint da yun instead of having to have the film developed first as was the case with conventional film cameras. So, ang disadvantage lang dyan niya is that the slight delay between when the user presses the button and when the camera takes the photo, which is especially important when taking action shots. So, these are some of the common uh, mga digital still cameras. So, we have Kane, Digicam Jud, then we have the professional digital cameras, and then phones in mobile phones. Digital video cameras include digital camcorders and small digital video cameras used in conjunction with computers and other devices. So it is often built into portable computers and mobile devices. They are also available as standalone devices so usually ka ng mga PC cams or mga web cams. So connect to a desktop computer or a network. So digital camcorders are similar to conventional analog camcorders, pero uh, ginastore nila ilang images on digital media, typically on built-in hard drives, rewritable DVDs, or flash memory cards. So once the video is recorded, pwede nyo mo siya transfer to a computer or you can edit it with software as needed and save to a DVD or other type of storage medium. It can also be compressed if needed and then upload sa mga social media sites like YouTube, Facebook, or Vine. So, some digital video cameras today can take high-definition video or HD video and some include wide-angle len lenses and microphones to facilitate video phone calls and video conferences with multiple individuals. 
Okay, we also have audio input. So, audio input is the process of entering audio data into the computer. So, most common types of audio input are voice and music. So, voice input is um, inputting spoken words and converting them to digital form. So, it is typically performed via a microphone or headset. So, kanang headphones nga I built in microphone. So, it can be used in conjunction with sound recorder software to store the voice in an audio file, then create a podcast. Okay, podcast or mga recorded audio file that is distributed by the internet or pwede pod ka ng mga voice over IP systems that allows individuals to place telephone calls from a computer over the internet. So, it can also be used in conjunction with speech recognition software to provide spoken instructions to a computer. So, uh, kaning mga speech recognition systems, they enable computer to recognize voice input as spoken words. So, like, kinahangla na siya mga appropriate software, like, example kay uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking or Windows Speech Recognition. So, pero magkinahangla ng microphone. So, with speech recognition, voice input can be used to control the computer like can mag open or close the programs or selecting options from a menu or list or moving the insertion button kay kanagong example ana is kanang Siri or Cortana sa Microsoft so mga ingana Bixby sa Samsung so mo mga voice input okay napud tay mga ginatawag nga okay Napunta yung mga ginatawag ng music input system. So, it is used to input music into a computer such as kung mag-create an original music composition or arrangement or mag-create tag mga custom music CD. So, existing music can be input into a computer via music CD or a web download. So, for original compositions, microphones, keyboard controllers, and guitar controllers are used to input the music into the computer then a MIDI interface is often used to connect musical instruments to computer. So, um, ang mga original music compositions nina gamitan na sa mga conventional na computer keyboard. So, with kung lang na connected with appropriate software or special device na designed to input music and convert it into a printed musical score. So, once na ma input ng music into the computer, pwede na siya ma-save, ma-modify, played, or inserted into other programs, or pwede siya i-burn to a CD or DVD. So, that's all muna for uh, input devices. So, next part sa ato ang lecture video will be all about output devices. So, hope you've learned something from this lecture video. So, stay tuned for the next part of this topic. Thank you and see you sa the next video. Bye! All right! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom City, for the, uh, for the wonderful uh, pre-recorded video. So I do hope everyone listened very well. So if you have questions, uh, I might ano lang, consider uh, answering that one uh, next meeting, uh, this afternoon. No? So again, we will meet at least uh, 30 minutes this afternoon now. So, so I'll be sending it to uh, James Neil Solomon. No? So, James, are you still here? Yes, sir. Ayan. So, ayan. So, do you have any clarifications pa? Okay, wala na. So, again, see you this afternoon. No? So, for uh, your clarifications and questions and my announcement will be discussed this afternoon. So, I hope namo. Then, 
we will see lahat sa ano sa lark okay kita kita tatanan sa lark okay bye everyone so ayos sa mula kaun adari sa koan